Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Skye. Today's video is tips on travel vlogging. Let's get started. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. Nice to see you again. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can see more of me and I can see more of you. Well, my first tip when you're travel vlogging is to speak uh, a little bit louder than what you would normally speak. So speak very loudly. Um, when you're travel vlogging and you're, you're um, out on the street and there's traffic, there's people talking in the background, there's a lot of noise around you, you have to really um, be mindful of your audio and you can ensure you have great audio by investing in a microphone for your camera. That'll help you out a lot, a lot. Um, kind of help um, tune out any background noise and kind of help focus on just your voice. If you're not ready to invest in a microphone yet, just uh, practice speaking up a little bit louder than what you would normally speak <laughs> in public. Um, that'll help your audio uh, be as best it, as it can be and make sure that your audience can hear you loud and clear. Going along with that, um, I would suggest making great eye contact with your camera so you can have great eye contact with your audience, the people who are watching you. Um, but that being said, make sure you uh, are still aware of your surroundings and look where you're going. <laughs> um, it's easy to get caught up talking to the vlog and walking down the street, but it's important to be very aware of your surroundings. So it's great to make eye contact with the audience. Definitely do that. But I would uh, definitely say kind of glance around, make sure that you're in a safe environment and everything is uh, okay and, and safe in the environment that you're in. So yeah, just make sure you somewhat still look where you're going. <laughs> and when you're speaking into your camera and while you're vlogging, um, don't get so close to your face. Um, <laughs> I know I've made this mistake uh, before where you're, you're vlogging, but the camera is kind of just on your face and not really getting the background. And the whole purpose of vlogging is to see you and to see the background, the scenery that you're in, especially with travel vlogging in particular, because you're seeing the person go to these great places and you want to see the place and you want to see the person talking about the place so uh, when you when you're vlogging kind of have the, um, the selfie stick or your monopod kind of far out so you can somewhat see the background of where you're at you know see your environment because your audience most likely wants to see that too if that's not possible um, take a separate shot of like a panoramic shot of your scenery if you are not able to capture what you want to capture vlog style you might have to flip the camera around and just do a regular panoramic kind of shot separately and that's totally okay to do that my next tip is to film transitions so um make sure you are filming you know, maybe the train ride to the destination or the plane ride to the destination or maybe your footsteps walking along the beach. These little shots of just like transitions can really help smooth out your video and kind of help it um, flow a little bit better. So you're not just going from, okay, I'm at the Apple Tower. Okay, I'm at the Louvre. Okay, I'm here. Okay, I'm there. You kind of have like those little in-between shots so you can have like a more flow to your video so you can kind of see like okay so you went to the Eiffel Tower and then she walked along and went to this bakery then she took a train and went to the Louvre like it kind of helps smooth it out so film transitions for your videos and going along with that um make sure you tell your audience what you're doing either as you're doing it or right before you do it so that way when you're looking at the clip um, they can get an idea of what's happening in your videos and what they're looking at and what they're really seeing. So if, it, if, if what you're doing needs a little bit of explanation, don't be afraid to kind of insert um, a moment, uh, a transition in your video of saying, hey guys, we're going to be going such and such and such a, and we're going to be using the train to get there. So let's go. Like, you know, little things like that just to kind of help smooth out the video so your audience is not confused. My next tip is to see the popular sites, see things that you must see in the destination that you are going to, but also try to venture out and see some um, 
different kind of attractions that are maybe not as popular but still very interesting and um, show that to your audience because it can be something they could it could be something that they are interested in and um, it might be worthwhile putting it in your video. If it's not, you don't have to include it, but if it is, you might as well go ahead and pop it in there and someone might uh, get an idea from the video and uh, really enjoy it. So that's what I do. I know when I went to London, yes, I went to the Buckingham Palace, with, with Westminster Abbey, but I also went to like a totally different cathedral that no one ever talks about, but it's still like very beautiful and worthwhile to see. And I included that in my London travel vlog and I also included it in my London tips video. So if you're interested in that at all, I'll put the cards up. If you're if you're interested in London uh, travels, <laughs> you can just go on my channel and see those. But uh, yeah, so I think it's worthwhile to go to some um, hidden gems in the city you're visiting. Okay, so this next tip is more so for um, when you're filming, and uh, not when you're filming, when you're editing your video, is to try to find music that matches your video and matches what your audience is seeing. So for example, uh, for my Korean vlog and my Japan vlog, I tried to find music that was like more Oriental style, so you kind of get that whole vibe in the video. Uh, it's not always possible, sometimes you just can't find a song that fits completely totally well but as long as it's you know if you're looking at something sad you don't want to have happy music playing in the background you know what I mean so try to match the music to what the what your audience is going to be seeing in the video so it kind of helps keep that vibe that you're wanting to portray this also goes along with the editing aspect of YouTube and travel vlogging is to try to include in your thumbnail maybe the attraction you went to go see and yourself so maybe uh, it can be like a picture of you standing next to the Eiffel Tower, for example, and maybe make that your thumbnail, but maybe something that is like kind of interesting, kind of fun, colorful, um, something that is like nice to look at and would make people want to click on your video. So yeah, for thumbnails, take your time with them, um, edit them as best as you can. I do have a, a totally, um, whole video on how to like start off with YouTubing and filming and editing and I'll link that video in this video in a card up above um, or you can find it on my channel but um, I do have a video dedicated to that but yeah take your time on your thumbnails and make them interesting my next tip is um, ask for help if you need help filming something or you want to film yourself doing something um, I have a tripod that I take with me when I travel um, it's uh, not a huge one, but it's something that I can set my camera up on, set a timer on my camera, and then run and take a picture or film myself doing something. Now, that's not always possible, you know, depending on where you're at. So if you have anyone traveling with you, you can have them hold the camera for you and have them film you doing something. So I did this um, in Japan. I had my mom hold the camera while I was at the shrine you know doing stuff so um you know just if you wanna sometimes you can't do it like vlogging style you have to have someone like do the shot for you and that's totally okay to ask for help all right guys so that wraps up my tips for travel vlogging i hope this helped you in some way and kind of give you some ideas and maybe even encourage you to start traveling and vlogging your experiences um i will see you guys in my next one but Please like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.